Long before we ever thought of retail megaplexes and online grocery shopping... Oh, it's, um, Annabelle Crabb. That's it. Australians relied on one magical small business that somehow met all our needs. The corner shop. I love the corner shop. A happy place to be. My parents owned a really big corner store. Shut up. In southwest Sydney. Shut up. A lot of people still to this day know my dad from the shop. Shut up. And every time we've changed as a people, it's changed along with us. And now our corner shop, we go to Westfield. On Tuesday, we watch the ABC's newest instalment of its time-travelling social experiment. Back in time for the corner shop. I love this show. They take a modern family yeah. and transplant them back into the past. Oh, what? They're going back to the 1850s to run a general store. This is going to be fun. You know that there are no phones in 1850s corner shops, right? Here they are. They're using the same family. Oh, seriously? Yes. Yep. It's the Pharones. Pharone mania. They've actually really grown up here, so... Oh, you'll survive. Hello? <laughs> Annabelle. Oh, my God, I love it! 50s, did they really wear that in the 50s? 1850s. Oh, OK. I wouldn't mind that. I'll get to wear a top hat, make me, like, a foot taller. A good outfit to be working in. Oh, for sure. We have one, two, right, three, Whoa. four. Look how many layers. Six. Wow. It'd be tough getting through them. Seven. Far out. It'd be like lifting up layers and layers. It's any wonder anyone had kids back then. Then there's about another seven up top. Women used to faint all the time. How do they not die from heat stroke? There's no electricity and there's no fridges, but you do have ice. Guess where the ice comes from? From the tap? It comes from Boston. That's pretty cool. Exactly. Imagine being an ice dealer back then and not getting locked up. <laughs> Who wants to talk about money? Yep. Yeah. Yes. This is the ledger. Oh, very oh, classy. Oh, yeah. 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 Very classy. There's no F boss, no pay pass, there's no tap and go. Cash Enough. business. Just the way we like it. The glory days. All the paperwork is done by the men. Not here. Oh no, 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 no to pay the bills. If I give you, it to give you, it to me and, and I tell you what you have to exactly do. Exactly, and I take it to the post office. And you give them the note, yeah. this is from me wife. I said, this is what the missus wants. <laughs> the women at the house need to churn butter several times a week. That it takes so long. Oh. To sell fresh in the shop. Why is this not a man's job? Women yes. and daughters don't matter back then. Of course then. not. Look at the daughters. They're like, kill me now. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Why is she crying when she's not doing it? Oh, Sienna, stop whinging already. It's literally your first day. I don't care anymore. Look, we made heaps of butter. A whole day's work for one little lump of butter. I would dip my face right in that with a bit of salt on the salad and some olive oil. That is putrid. Oh. Oh, that sound. So who's going to be the customers? Hi, Olivia. Hi. Nice garden. Thank you. Oh, it's Jeff. Isn't he Wake Up Jeff? The Wiggles Jeff? The Wiggles. Oh, oh my God! It's Wake Up Jeff! <laughs> yep. Someone must have woke him up to do the show. You were probably wondering what my connection is yes. with yes. this. That's exactly yeah. what we're wondering, Jeff. Why yes. is Jeff from the Wiggles here in the 1870s? My grandfather was brought out wow. to work in this yeah. general store. It was all the um, migrants that had come to Australia and they'd set themselves up with a corner shop. And have their kids as slave labour. No wonder he was always so tired. He used to do stock take. <laughs> and I noticed that you have... China tea, China tea. Yeah. yes. But that's my mother. What? Oh! What? Oh, my oh, God. No <laughs> way. Wait. How old is Jeff? Yeah. She's oh, beautiful. Wow. Oh, thank you. If his mum was in the 1870s, Jeff is, what, 130? <laughs> Next time. It's a good show. It could be a really fun thing to do. For about 20 minutes, I reckon. I'm just really glad we live in this era. That's good, that show. I like it. Yeah, it is good. Does it bring back memories, Lee? I don't know, Keith. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs>